Eric Peterson with our risk here. Today's weekly business tip was written by the trifecta of Margaret E. Bear, Dawn, and Jeff Fierbach, and talks all about hydraulic safety. Now, hydraulic safety is something that they're very passionate about, and unfortunately, doesn't get the attention in the tree care industry as about only 5% of the total injuries that happen are from hydraulics. However, those 5% can cause severe damages, many times leaving the injured employee with an amputated limb. So to start the article, they go into a few bits of, of stats. And the very first thing that they talk about is the pressure needed to pierce your skin is only 100 PSI. The equipment that you guys use every day, chippers, stump bed, or stump grinders, dump beds, uh, aerial lifts, are operating at 4,000 PSI or higher. Now at that 4,000 PSI range, about 50 to 80% of the injuries actually require an amputation. If you get above that 7,000 PSI and higher, it's every injury needs an amputation. So it's a very important, severe topic here that we want to talk about. The article goes through what happens when the, the hydraulic fluid gets under the skin and how that injury develops and how it worsens over time. And also goes through some of the management parts on how to train your team on what to look for how to make sure to regularly check your hoses and everything that you can do to prevent a hydraulic accident from happening and how to minimize it if it does happen. So read through the article. If you need any help installing a hydraulic safety component within your safety program, reach out to an Arborist team member. We'll get you signed up and enrolled into our Thrive Safety Package that can directly work one-on-one -on -one with you to overall increase your whole safety culture and program, but definitely involve a uh, component of hydraulic safety within it. So thanks for watching and please be safe out there.